Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Real Housewives of Atlanta. Today we are talking about Phaedra's ex-husband, Apollo Nita, uh, who was denied uh, the opportunity to have his five-year probation, uh, you know, end early. Uh, it's supposed to end in 2020. 24 uh but he was looking to have it end now and uh basically had a hearing that was this week and he was denied right because as you guys remember back in 2014 uh he was sentenced to eight years of prison and five years of probation even though he was facing like 30 years but he decided to snitch right he decided to snitch on people uh, so that he could get less jail time uh, but basically, he was the one who was one of the key factors, and he has to pay back the people. He has to pay back the $2 million, right? And I think he's only paid like 140000 or something like that. Uh, but basically, he is claiming that he is an in-demand entertainer whose career suffers from having restrictions on his travel and having to obtain approval for work, Right. And, uh, you know, basically was pleading with the court to end the probation early and says that he has turned a life his life around and that he coaches youth football and volunteers as a community uh, and that he has maintained a stable residence who with now his wife, who was his prison uh, pen pal uh, that he has since married uh, and has transferred, you know, has transitioned into society, no more ear mattresses and, um, you know, has a great relationship with with his children and spends time with them regularly uh, and that he has passed his drug test uh, since being released right uh, but basically tries to say that he is not a risk uh, to society and has constantly made restitution payments right uh, and is not like and he says it's not likely to reinvent oh my gosh uh, I, but nonetheless uh, it was over 2 million that he owed and it is still 1.9 million that he owes um, you know that was announced at the sentencing right that there's still 1.9 uh, million that he has to pay uh, to these victims and basically said he is still going to be kept on probation until 2024. Uh, so that way that should stop him from potentially re-offending, right? And so uh, the court basically said as such, right? They said, although he has been compliant with the terms of his release and he has made some payments, uh, basically it's not paid in full, right? It's not paid in full and uh you know denied the request right denied this request and and said that you have to wait it out you have to wait it out uh till the conclusion of your probation you were already getting off significant time uh but the feds don't play you guys the feds don't play and you're not going to get out of paying them one way or the other right they're going to collect their money and they're going to make sure you fulfill whatever terms of the sentence is going to be even if it's reduced and you're going to fulfill the terms of the probation there is not going to be any shortcuts of getting it cut short right all right so there is that so let me know your guys thoughts in the comments please do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment i post new content on my channel and with that being said i'll talk to you guys again very soon